Okay, class. What we're going to do today is narrow down our Google searches again. So let's say we're getting ready for our presentations that we're going to do on foodborne illnesses and foodborne diseases. So what we would type in is food foodborne illness. Click on that and it brings up a bunch of information on different types of foodborne illness and food poisoning. But I want to narrow it down for each individual. So I want to get things for three different types today. If I wanted to go to settings, I go to advanced search again. Now it brings up a whole bunch of different things, very similar to what we did when we were looking for specific images. But this will give us articles that just deal with what we're looking for. So this exact phrase, I want E. coli. All right. Okay, language is there, region, we would like the United States, so we want to scroll down until we get to the U.S. There it is, bring that up. Now we also want to find relevant things for within the past year. We don't want to go back 10 years, 15 years. We want to get as recent of information as we can as we deal with this stuff. So, here we go, advanced search. And now it brings up information that is strictly related to E. coli. And E. coli, as you know, is attributed to ground beef. Okay, But let's say we wanted to try something different. We wanted to go back. We wanted to do the same search, but we wanted to do it this time for salmonella. By using the parentheses up here, search for things that are strictly within salmonella. So let's try that again. So we put that in, we press enter, and we search for that. So now it gives us all information about salmonella, different salmonella outbreaks, home pages, different information that you can find, how people get sick, and what it's leading to. All of this was done within the last year, which makes it topical and very useful as we prepare ourselves for information. The last one we wanted to search, we can go back to settings, do it again, advanced search, and then foodborne illness will take out salmonella. And we want to put in trigonosis. Many of you have probably never heard of trigonosis before. Now you can see we are staying with our language. It's still within the United States, still within the past year. All that kind of information stays the same. So we want to advanced search for that. Now, as you can see, trigonosis is a used for pork. It's not really common because most people cook pork all the way. And it's one of the things you'll learn. But it's one of those items that really gives you a better way to narrow down information. So by narrowing it down in our advanced search here, it helps us find things that are useful to us, that are topical, and that are use that we can use in our presentations coming up. This is a great way of narrowing down, getting more information, and I hope you'll be able to use it and find it useful as we go through and use it for this class. Good luck.